குரங்காரி ஓ குரங்காரி கூடியிருக்க இடம் இல்லையோ மனிதரை போலவே உமக்கு கைகால் இருந்தும் பயன் இல்லையே அடடா அற்ப பயலி என்று கட்டின கூட்டை பிரித்திற்று கதறி ஓடிற்று குருவி குஞ்சு மூர்கருக்கு நல்புத்தியை ஓதிட்டால் பயனில்லையே பயனில்லை ஒன்ஸ் அப்பான் டைம் லிஃப்ட் a male and female sparrow on a branch in a forest they were worried for it was still summer but monsoon was yet to come and monsoon was incredibly difficult with rain and winds they knew they had to build a safe haven for themselves so they decided to build a lovely little nest they picked palm fronds coconut fronds dry grass and built a nest on a branch just as the woman folds her hair into a beautiful loose bun so the nest was created and the two sat inside quite safe and warm soon monsoon came and the winds blew the rains fell down in torrents the sky literally opened and down came the rain after it was quiet for some time the sparrows looked out and they saw a monkey seated on a lower branch the male sparrow felt very sorry he looked at the monkey and said oh ane i feel very sorry for you you know you're shivering in the cold if only you had built a nest like us in the summer you will not have faced this plight <laughs> these words heard by that monkey just incited him he got up in rage and looked at the sparrow shut up who are you to tell me sitting in the safety of your nest you 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 do your own work don't give me any advice immediately the wife the males the female sparrow looked at the male sparrow and said macha don't say anything more you know the powerful should not be confronted in any way if they have a good heart then maybe they listen to us but if they don't then things may go this way or that way nobody wants unsolicited advice don't say anything it's like hitting your head against the stone but the male looked at the monkey and said i was just feeling sorry for you and that's it the monkey just jumped up in rage and looked at the sparrow and said who are you do you know what i can do how dare you speak to me I don't have goodness in me is it that is what i heard you both talking hmm just see what i will do and he took one jump from his branch to their branch and then tore the nest apart to pieces and threw it all over the floor poor frightened sparrows flew out and landed on another branch shivering and shuddering and in the same plight as the monkey who they thought they were helping what a brute he was the male sparrow was shattered with a heavy heart he cried to his wife oh my you know a potter takes so many days to make a pot but it takes a rogue with a stick only one minute to destroy it all but the resourceful wife looked at him and said don't worry i think we are on the right side we should seek justice let us go to the player the god who sits at the corner of the forest and ask seek justice from him so the two birds flew to player who was seated on his tenai player heard the story and he was immediately concerned he sent his little mouse to call the monkey 
the moment the mouse reached the monkey the monkey knew he was in deep trouble he thought how do i handle this i know i'm going to be punished for what i did ha idea and so he went looking searching for something and came the next morning even before daylight and placed that thing right behind our pallaya and so the jury started the pallaya called the monkey and the sparrows and asked the sparrows to speak present their case the sparrows spoke out their woes what the monkey had done and what they had said in absolute truth pallaya was quite perturbed so monkey what do you have to say monkey turned and said sir judge sir i know they built their how their nest and they were sitting in that nest that is their business now i am sitting on that branch and shivering in that cold or whatever i am doing is my business i was minding my business why should they poke their nose into my business that is my question and that is why i got angry and that is why you should look in front and behind you before you talk player was puzzled everything made sense except the last statement but so he chose to ignore it i don't understand that sparrow was only trying to state a fact and probably help you to look at things clearly why do you have to react by tearing his nest the monkey in a louder voice said i request you to look in front and behind before talking player was puzzled he blinked look in front and behind as he turned back he saw enormous jack fruit kept right behind him getting out a wonderful fragrance immediately player understood ah that is for me judgment changed he looked at the sparrows and said look sparrows what you have done is not right he was doing whatever he was doing on that branch shivering in the cold or roasting in the sun that is his business you should not have mocked him you should not have said anything to him you should have kept quiet you should have restrained your words that is my verdict and the player finished his what the sparrows looked bewildered flabbergasted and all they could do was fly away from there knowing that justice was not theirs over there and the poor male sparrow could only say when the mighty build the canal they choose the path while the meek have to keep quiet while our monkey rubbed his hand and thought to himself a bride can get me even out of the nether world thank you where is the transformation in this story well the transformation is within us after we listen to this story thank you